for all Hull City are still unwilling to admit defeat in their attempt to keep Michael Dawson and Seb Larson at the KCOM Stadium next season, the threat of their exit promises to expose a deep flaw within Nigel Adkins' squad. With the long-serving Alan McGregor and David Myler already gone, moving on to new challenges in 2018-19, experience and leadership could well be in desperately short supply if Dawson and Larson also joined the exodus. That quartet helped to form the group of senior players Adkins consulted privately when the chips were down in February and March, a collection he placed faith in to keep City clear of relegation trouble. All were strong voices guiding a team filled with less experienced figures and each earned the praise of Adkins for setting the standard in professionalism in application. None will be irreplaceable this summer but there will surely be a void that needs filling if City are to compete. Michael Dawson of Hull City, image, focus, take away Dawson and Larson, the two players Adkins considered to be his captain and vice-captain, and what remains. David Marshall, Fraser Campbell and Evandro would be the only players in City's first team squad aged over 30. Camille Grosicki will also have reached that landmark age by the time a new season begins but picturing the winger in black and amber next season is not easy. Picking a natural captain from the players currently under contract is not easy. Campbell has achieved plenty in command's respect, while Marshall captained Cardiff for two years before joining the Tigers in 2016. Angus McDonald, City's most recent signing in January, also skippered Torquay United and Barnsley in the years that preceded his move to East Yorkshire but the absence of a clear candidate illustrates the problem facing Adkins. If Tigers were young this season, they will be younger still next term. McDonald, Jackson Irvine, Marcus Henriksen and Wilkeen are all 25, Kevin Stewart 24, while John Torrell and Stephen Kingsley are both 23. New Hidiko is relatively old age 27, with Andre Mazic an elder statesman at 29. Sebastian Larson of Hull City leads the TAM out at Brentford alongside Dan Batty. Image, focus, City's policy of buying young in the last 12 months has its merits when building a group capable of growing together, but there is no substitute for a healthy dash of experience in the championship. The last 10 years tells you as much. In 2007-08 there was Wayne Brown, Nick Barmby, Dean Windoss, Brian Hughes and Henrik Peterson all offering plenty behind City's greatest skipper Ian Ashby, while five years later there was Abdullah Faye and Robert Corrant helping the Tigers repeat the feat of promotion. In 2015-16 there was even greater experience. Dawson was backed up by Curtis Davies, Tom Huddlestone, Mo Diame and a fleet of former promotion winners. Players willing to lead by example were at every turn. Former Hull City striker Aaron McLean hangs up his boots perhaps City already have those figures ready to step up next season but Adkins, whose experience cannot be questioned following four promotions of his own, will be gambling without adding old heads to his ranks. Should Dawson join Nottingham Forest, a signature City's championship rivals remain confident of securing, and Larson returns to Sweden, a creeping fear given this week's reports in his homeland, there will be a need to add experience in both defence and midfield. Not too many are left who know precisely what it takes to be a success in the championship. Captaincy candidates in 2018-19 David Marshall Hull City keeper David Marshall with Alan McGregor gone, next season is expected to be a big one for Marshall. The 33-year-old is the natural heir to the goalkeeping gloves worn by his countrymen and the armband could also be his. Marshall was Cardiff skipper for two years and has regularly seen his professionalism praised by Adkins. Even when out of the team in the last 18 months, his attitude has always been praised. 
Angus McDonald Hull City Defender Angus McDonald Image, Focus, first made captain of Torquay United when he was just 22 and also took on that honour when impressing during his first season with Barnsley. McDonald clearly had leadership credentials that Adkins admires and once fit following a dislocated shoulder he looks likely to be a key figure in City's defence for 2018-19. This first full season at the KCOM Stadium might come too soon for the captaincy. Fraser Campbell Fraser Campbell celebrates Hull City's winner at Barnsley. Image, Focus, City's recent tour of Kenya saw Campbell take on the captaincy in the friendly fixture with Gormahia and at present the striker looks likely to be one of the Tigers most experienced players next season. Question marks over his ability to start week in and week out would obviously count against Campbell but he is a popular figure within the current dressing room. Marcus Henriksen Marcus Henriksen of Hull City, image, focus, a long shot perhaps but Adkins is an admirer of Henriksen. The second half of this last season suggested the Norway international will be an influential figure in City's plans and could well be one of the first names on the team sheet given the current options available. Not an obvious candidate given his limited impact when first joining but there has been a clear change in his standing over the last six months.